and I'll resolve the site to do something. Oh, thanks. I was getting up anyways with some water. <laughs> Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, everyone, it's a time for Star Wars. I haven't done this one in a little bit, so hopefully I have some new luck, because last time I opened it, I was a little bit depressed. But let's see what happens today. We have ourselves a case of Topps Chrome Black Star Wars. It's a fun one, 12 boxes inside, one pack, and one one-touched autograph. Each pack's got three cards in there. If you're ever interested in any more breaks of Star Wars, you can find more of our Star Wars breaks on eBay. We list under the name North Dash of Dash the number seven, and we have more Star Wars Star Wars breaks listed currently. So take a peek and join right in. And if you like sports, we got a bunch of sports as well: basketball, baseball, football, hockey. So take a peek. Let's get into it and see if I can get something cool for you all. Hoping to get another Hayden Christensen or a Rosario Dawson. I saw Carrie Fisher's got something in here, which kind of blows my mind because she's not around. But uh, hopefully I can get it. Good luck. Oh, Skywalker love. All right, Dave in PA. There's a Dave in somewhere else, but you're the one that matters. All right, this is what a box looks like. Let's see what we can get. Sorry for the delayed start. I'm gonna go a little bit at a decent speed, but nothing crazy. <laughs> Here we got a nice hit for the Commander Cody spot. I like Cody, not as much as Rex though. And here we got a, a Grogu Refractor at a 199. And Wedge Antilles, that's number 3 of 50. Let me just sleeve up our little Grogu friend, number 50 of 199. I don't know why they named him. They should have just kept him Baby Yoda. Oh, instead of Grogu. Yeah, Grogu. I'm not a huge fan of the Grogu name. 3 of 50. Should have just kept Baby Yoda. <laughs> what if they, we find out he's actually Yoda's like offspring? It'd be pretty hilarious. He broke the Jedi laws. Got another Lady Yoda pregnant. I don't know what sort of race they are. Uh, here we got ourselves a Admiral Aratus. This guy knew it was a trap. That's why he didn't go. Paul Casey is Admiral Aratus. Congratulations to whoever picked up Admiral Aratus. I prefer Admiral Akbar. Yeah, everybody does. <laughs> He's that guy's like the, the, the cousin nobody likes. Right. That just happens to get like promoted. To Admiral. Uh, ooh. All right, we got a Shroot Imwe. Next up, we have a Bo-Katan, and this is going to be cool. Congratulations to whoever picked up Cassian Andor. We have ourselves a Orange Parallel, number 16 of 25 for Cassian Andor. He's got a little backpack. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be part of the rebellion now. You, you put me in jail and I didn't want to go to jail. And now I'm free and I'm mad that you put me in jail and I want, I want to fight you guys. So you wrongfully put me in jail. And spoiler alert. Congratulations to the Cassian Andor spot on your out of 25 base. Sorry, Admiral Raddus. Uh, what is this? We have ourselves the Grand Inquisitor. This is a... No, it's a regular one. 11 of 50 going to uh, the Grand Inquisitor. This is Jason Isaacs as the Grand Inquisitor. Congratulations, whoever picked up J uh, Jason Isaacs' Grand Inquisitor spot. In gold, this actually looks really cool. I thought it was a one on one for a sec. That's why I checked the back so quick. The one on ones are like a silver almost. It's like a super factory though. It's gold, but like it's got the pattern in it. Because I, I hit a base one of one of like, I think it was tech. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, you're there. Yeah, I remember. But we've done a lot of, done a lot of stuff. Yeah, you hit a Fennec Shiv one of one. Yeah, that was a nice one. These styles were really nice. Yeah. Uh, 
We got IG88. Uh, uh, here we have a Costco Reeves and in Teal Beaumont Kin. Was he Mary or Pippin? I can't remember. Uh, six of ninety nine. This guy was part of the Fellowship of the Rings, and then he jumped ship into Star Wars. Oh really? Yeah, he was one of the Hobbits. Oh yeah yeah yeah. He found the better franchise. No, nah, Lord of the Rings is better. Uh, I love Lord of the Rings. No, to be fair, it is a better franchise. I think they make more money. It's a bigger like Lord of the Rings. They have their TV show now, and it's which sucks. I actually like it. It sucks so hard. Well, uh, here we have a Peli Motto. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Sedaris is Peli Motto. They took Kate Blanchett's character from the movie and they turned her into like, like just like depressing to watch. Fair enough. Fair enough. And like all the elves are whiny jerk faces, even though they were whiny jerk faces in the other movie, you only had to, you only had to watch their jerk face whininess for like a certain amount of time because the movie was only three and a half, four hours long. That's true. And I mean, the only one who wasn't the jerk face guy was Legolas, and like, and that's that's the main guy we everybody saw. Yeah, the elf, right? Yeah, I mean, he he had his moments of like jerk face. I think my first ever girlfriend a long time ago. Had I think you had a crush on him, you just didn't even know it. Right? <laughs> Here we have Mace Windu with his purple lightsaber. I always thought that was funny. He was the only guy with the purple lightsaber. I like Mace Windu. He's a snake on the plane. Don't worry, I've got a lightsaber. Uh, here we got a General Grievous. And in blue, Cobb Vanth. 51 of 75. Congratulations to the Cobb Vanth spot on your hit. It's going into overtime. Oh, wait. Costco Reeves was a refractor. I just noticed that right now. This is a 109 of 199 Costco Reeves. Yeah, so I didn't notice is the top right. It's going to be colored with silver there. Yeah, almost. I know. I just overlooked that. And they usually come the second in the pack unless you're unfortunate to get it at the end. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunate enough to get it as one of your like knockout cards. Oh well, yeah, usually they're a lot shorter printed, right? And here we got a Hondo Onaka. The last three Jim cases Cummings. Have had him. The last like ten cases have had him. Fair enough. <laughs> no. They have to have like seated some of like the non numbers. Thank the God it's not the like uh, security guard or the freight pilot or the. Oh, that was like signature series. No, it was like finest. I I opened one case and hit yeah. like fifteen like. Imperial security guards. I was like, oh my god. Have like an imperial security guard, imperial officer, imperial the Twilic doorman from from uh, Mandalorian was like by far the mar the most ag like made me the angriest I think I've ever been. Oh, really? uh, I was like, he gave me two Twilic doormans. <laughs> Gotta be kidding. Uh, here we got Galen Urso. They might as well put the janitors and stuff. Oh, that's longer. next. Here we got Pow, which is pretty much <laughs> close as close as you can get to the doorman. And Peli Motto, our pal is 9 of 199, and our Peli Motto is out of 75. Yeah, I hit out of 10 pal yesterday. He was in like, I think he was in Rogue One. I like the last one you hit that girl there. She was in uh, the most recent movie, right? She was one of the fighter, the, um, the X-Wing of uh, pilots, I think. I don't know who you're talking about. The, the girl with the curly hair you just hit. She was like one of the X-Wing pilots. Her? Yeah. No, she's from Mandalorian. She's like the mechanic. Then who am I thinking? There's one that's like an X-Wing pilot that looks like her, and the one with the Quinn guy. I have no idea. You're lost. You lost me. Uh, here we have Sabine Wren. Congratulations. This is Taya Sirkar as Sabine Wren. Put you beside Hondo. Come on, there's gotta be something cool in here. Hopefully there's a dark side. Yeah, I hope so. And hopefully it's like a Hayden, like a Hayden Christensen dark side. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Hey, we got Kira, the Queen of Dragons. And then we have ourselves Max and Rebo, and a refractor for Asajj Ventress, numbered 103 of 199. I think we've hit a couple 103s already. Must be like the case with 103 in there. It'd be good for like a serial number killer type thing. 
And then uh, we got a DO droid. This is Lynn Robertson Bruce. Puppeteered for DO. D0? I can't I always remember. I hit the AOH or whatever. K2 so? Yeah, I have all of those. K2 so is not bad. Too I'd many droids. I'd take K2 so. Fair enough. Well, the voice actor for K2 so is. Uh, do, do you know if there's a Jar Jar Binks in case? I there's doubt it. There's a base. I honestly don't think there is Jar Jar. Which kind of makes me happy because I hate him. I love him. Well, Misa you thinks know. you need to raise your standards. <laughs> See, you knew that much. <laughs> yeah, because I hate him so much. What a use. What a. No, no. What a useless character. Uh, here we have somebody that I hope I can see in live action, Grand Admiral Thrawn. He's so dope. I think I read one of his comics. It's pretty cool. Um, here we have a Anakin Skywalker base. There you go. I wish it was numbered though. And our bottom card is Mon Mothma. She was such an irrelevant character from the first movies that they had to make her an Andor relevant. 93 of 99. Isn't she just the one that's like trying to like farm the rebellion? Yeah, she's the leader of the rebellion. Yeah. Which is like hilarious to me. Oh yeah, was, she's an Andor, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do we got here? And talk about our friend Admiral Akbar. Oh, is it? Yeah, we have that's ourselves a 95 of 99. Tim Rose is Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. Oh my god. Turn the ships around. Blah, blah, blah. Fish, 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 fish. Yeah. All these stands, you still use the boxes. It's just convenient. And I'm... Until you have to take the boxes. <laughs> yeah, then I switch to the stands. I, I, don't, I do what I have to until I have to. Fair enough. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Where's the Kool-Aid guy? Those are like the easiest packs to open. <laughs> <laughs> Don't question me. Uh, here we have Qui-Gon Jinn. Here we got Salacious B. Crumb. This guy is such a, like, if that was a real person, he's like a creeper. Like, you wouldn't, you would like, you'd watch out for him on the street. Oh, that one? You'd like, you'd check your registry for pedos. It, like, kind, of, oh. it kind of looks like the, the little guys from Men in Black. <laughs> No, those guys were cooler than him. He's he's he's, he's just it's, weird. It's like they're morphed kind of a little, <coughs> little off in the head cousin. <laughs> this is a Saw Guerrera. This is numbered 61 of 199. Force Whitaker is such a good actor. I don't know why he fell off a cliff. Like, I don't know. They made the best meme of him because he has the lazy eye. So they put like in the cousin. I don't know if he has a lazy eye or did he has like a scar that won't let him open his eye all the way. I feel like something's up with that. Yeah, but like one eye is like... Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Open and they put like... <laughs> in the Cusativa, because like one, you like, you know, and then the one you're wide awake. Oh, that's kind of mean, but like funny. I get it, I get it. It is mean, I didn't make it, I just seen it. <laughs> Here we got Echo. This is a uh, D. Bradley Baker as Echo, because D. Bradley Baker voices Baker. everyone. Mm -hmm. There we go. Congratulations to the Echo spot. All right, we got ourselves four more boxes to go. All right, we got Bodie Rook. Here is a nice hit for Darth Maul. We got a refractor, and it actually like looks super cool because it's oh, silver. Nice. This is number 45 of 199. Congratulations to the Darth Maul spot on your refractor base. That's kind of, kind of cool. I don't know, I like, if it was red it'd be nicer, but I think, besides that, I don't think any of the other colors will do it any better. Is it red like out of five? I think so. It's hard to hit, yeah. And here we got ourselves Aura Singh, number 299. And we got a Rala Keeley. This is uh, Clint Howard as Rala Keeley. Congratulations to you. It's getting, it's getting kind of repetitive. He's always popping up. And let's do that. Oh. 
I like him. He was in. Uh, he's a good actor. He's just like he doesn't have a, a big enough role for them to make so many autographs of him. He was in one of my favorite uh, TV shows. No, he's pretty funny. He's got like really good comedic presence. Um, here we got a Captain Rex, but old man Rex. You ever watch Supernatural? Uh, not a lot, no. Uh, here we have ourselves a Padme Amidala in a refractor out of 199. And this is cool, we got a Hunter 14 of 50 yellow parallel. Congratulations to the Hunter spot. He's like one of the Archangels or like one of those in that. He's been in so many things yeah. growing up, I just can't remember them all. Uh, 199, this is numbered 58 for Padme Amidala, Refractor. That was a good box so far. Let's see if we can finish it off with something cooler. And then, uh, <laughs> Orn Free Ta. This is Phil Lamar. Phil Lamar, why does that name seem familiar? Congratulations to the Orn Free Ta, Phil Lamar spot. Anyways, let's move you guys. I numbered of him yesterday. Like, in case number. I don't know if he's one of the guys we're looking for, though. Um, Anybody here for the next break? Uh, we'll be doing that as soon as we're done this. Uh, here we have Lando Calrissian. Here's a K. Tuso. And Harrison Dula in blue, number 10. One of 75. Upside down that one. Look, look at 10. And then what's this? What's this person over here? That's the first time I think I've seen her. We have Bazine Natal. This is Ann Brewster as Bazine Natal, number 7 of 25. What's she in? I don't know. Solo, maybe? Um. I can't remember where she's from. Which means that she's so popular. All right, let's see what's in this. Our final box, I'm looking for some magic. Admiral Akbar base, Captain Tarkin, and nice hit for the Supreme Leader Snoke spot. This is number 32 of 99 for Supreme Leader Snoke. And our automograph, automograph, automograph. It's actually a nice hit. Congratulations to the Emily Swallow as the armorer spot. This is numbered 16 of 50. I know people chase her a little bit. Congratulations to whoever picked up the armorer, Emily Swallow. Let's do a recap of our stuff that came out of here. Here is our base. We got ourselves a Captain Tarkin, Admiral Akbar, K2, so Lando Calrissian, Captain Rex, Cody Rook, Salacious B. Crumb, Qui Gon, our Anakin Skywalker over here, Grand Admiral Thrawn, Rebo, Kira, Galen Urso. Here we have a General Grievous, Mace Windu. IG-88, Bo-Katan, and underneath that is Stucky. We got a Sharut Imwe and Commander Cody. They're pretty cool. Number dudes. Number dudes. Here we have a Supreme Leader Snoke out of 99, Harris and Dula out of 75, Padme Amidala, 199, Hunter 50, Aura Singh, 99, Darth Maul, 199, Sakurara, 199, Mon Mothma, 99, Massage Ventures, 199, Palimato out of 75, Pow, 199, Reeves, 199, Cobb Vanth, 75, Beaumont Kin, 99, Wedge, out of 50, and Grogu, out of 199. Autographs. Uh, we got ourselves a Bazine Natal out of 25, played by Anna Brewster. Thanks, Dave, and uh, I was glad I was able to get you Anakin. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Orn Free Ta, uh, played by Phil Lamar. Riley Killy, played by Clint Howard. Echo, played by D. Bradley Baker. Dio, played by Lynn Robertson Bruce. And Pelimato, played by Amy Sedaris. And then our nicer hits. We have our Armor, out of 50, played by Emily Swallow. We got our Admiral Akbar, numbered out of 99, played by Tim Rose. Sabine Wren, by T.S. Sir Carr. 
Hondo Onaka, played by Jim Cummings. A cool-looking Cassian Andor out of 25 base. We have ourselves Admiral Radius, played by Paul Casey. And a nice Grand Inquisitor. This is played uh, by Jason Isaacs. And it is 11 of 50. I gotta say, it's, I don't know the biggest autograph we hit in this case, but it is the nicest autograph, like, aesthetically. No, he's one of the chasers. I don't know. But anyways, I mean, Jason Isaacs is... I've heard of him. Um, there we go. That has been our break. Uh, Tops Chrome Black. Did I just hit your foot? Oh, it's like I put it there. It's my fault. Uh, uh, I was like, oh no, I broke your toe. Um, next up, we have Formula One. Workplace hazard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, we have... Uh, Formula One, next up, for everybody in here watching for Formula One, we'll be taking down this video and starting that one shortly. Thank you all for joining us here North of Seven. If you're ever interested in any more breaks by player, and it doesn't matter if it's Star Wars or any other sport, you can find us on eBay. We list daily, every single day of the week. Find us there, north dash of dash the number seven. Follow us on our socials, North of Seven Cards. Get updates on what our listings are that week. Thank you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everyone, and an awesome weekend. Take care.